my people. I asked 10,000 people to design the best farm that they could on Stardew Valley. And out of those 10,000 people, 36 answered the call. And tonight I'm going to let my Twitch chat vote on who did the best job. First place will get a set of four Junimo plushes, beautiful, beautiful plushes. And second place will get a $10 Steam gift card. Anyone was allowed to enter and anyone can win, but it really is up to the people of the Twitch chat. The way we're gonna do this is it's gonna be a tournament style competition. And so we're just gonna hop right into it, pinning farm versus farm directly up against each other. And you guys will vote for who gets to move on until there's one remaining. Also to make sure that there's no bias in the Twitch chat between people who come to the Twitch chat all the time and who are particularly loved. We're gonna do this completely anonymously so that there is no bias and so that everyone has a good chance of winning. I have given all of the farms a name that we will be referring to them as rather than the person who made it. So here it is, here's our first round. On the left, we have Hilltop Haven. Hilltop Haven is a beautiful farm that has a river that cuts right down through the middle. The one on the right, I like to refer to as the grid. And you can see why it's got a beautiful grid type structure with Junimo huts and a bunch of different ancient fruit growing all around. So I was hoping to have the pole up in like the bottom middle section right here, but due to some technical difficulties with the website, we'll just be using Twitch's poll. So you won't get to see that on screen. All right, the votes are in. You guys like the farm on the left better. You guys are a fan of the Hilltop Haven. And so the grid from our very own Alaroda falls. Unfortunate. Alaroda, thank you for submitting, but you're up against stiff competition. Our next two contenders on the left, we have something entitled the biggest streamer on Twitch. And of course, this is my personal favorite because it just spells unsurpassable Z with some crops in the middle. And then on the right, we have a farm entitled True Perfection, strictly because of this one little prismatic shard that is sticking out of the statue of True Perfection. And so you guys can go ahead and vote. Which one do you think is better? I will put that up in the chat right now. The votes are coming in now. A lot of people starting to like this one on the right. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay, guys, that's fine. Oh, everyone's just gonna not vote for me. There is no way this is gonna be unanimous. Please, please someone throw a vote my way, dude. Everyone, oh, come on. Thank you, thank you, Lerpa. It only took my own mom to vote for the one on the left. Wow, I kind of thought that the unsurpassable Z1 would go on until the finals and maybe even win the whole thing, but you guys obviously don't like me as much as I thought you did. Well, congratulations to True Perfection. It is the one that will be moving on. The person who made the biggest streamer on Twitch farm was our very own Arizona Snowflake. So Arizona, thank you for your submission. I really liked it, if that makes you feel better. Our next competitors are, on the left, columns. You can see a variety of column type structures to organize the crops growing in the middle. Uh, very nice and organized farm. And on the right, we have the farm Hornard. One of our only farms to utilize the four corners type. Uh, I called it cornered for that reason. Got some votes coming in now. It's still pretty close, around 50-50. Cornered starting to pull ahead, nine votes to four now. You know, after about 30 seconds, I think it's about time to call this one. You guys liked cornered better than columns, and so cornered will be moving on. Columns was brought to us by CJ, by the way. I forgot to mention that one. We have The Secret on the left, and I called it that because of this, this little area in the bottom left that has these warp obelisks hidden by all of these trees. So I call this map The Secret. Got a bunch of fish ponds, a nice little area for crops in the middle here with some Junimo huts. The area off to the right for aminals. And you got some sheds up here with a bunch of productivity stuff, I'm sure. And a bunch of mills in the top left. And then on the right, we have a beautiful, beautiful farm. I know I keep saying beautiful, but it truly is. Over here is Epicenter. Obviously this entire farm is focused around the golden clock and you can tell it's a real farm. Someone didn't actually make this one on the planner. This is their real farm. Some slime hutches, a very nice purple theme. Beautiful. The votes are coming in now and it is not even close. Epicenter pulls ahead by a large margin. I agree, that one is absolute fire. I did like Secret as well, but Epicenter is a hard one to beat. So congratulations there. The Secret is brought to us by Dawn the Pizza. Dawn, thank you for your submission, but unfortunately Epicenter walks away with this one. Our next farms. On the left, we have one titled Mayonnaise. And this is because in the middle of uh, this whole operation that's going on, you can see right here is a little shrine to the mayonnaise machine. This is very intentional and pointed out to me in the email. And then on the right, as you can imagine, I've titled this one Flamingo. A very clean design of our favorite animal, the Flamingo, made out of red cabbages, blueberries, melons, and everything else. And uh, of course, a little tribute to me in the bottom left here with the Z and a nice little heart in the top left. Do you guys prefer mayonnaise? 
or Flamingo. Go ahead and vote. The votes are coming in now. Who do the people think is better? This is one of our closer votes so far, nine to 15 right now. At the end of the day, Flamingo is moving on. So thank you down with Comcast for your mayonnaise submission, but Flamingo is too strong. On the left, we have the farm that I have referred to as Crabbin. Because of its a little area over here that was uh, very specifically pointed out is this is an area that is designated for crab pots. Uh, there's a little forest area down here to tap some trees. Got some slime hutches, fish ponds, uh, and a nice, a couple little designs right here in the middle. On the right, we have what I've called the Junimo Parade. This person has made a little parade of Junimos with a little star drop right here. Very cool. The votes are coming in. It is exactly 50-50 right now. Oh my goodness. It could go either way. 45 seconds elapsed. All of a sudden, Crabbin pulls ahead by a little bit, but Junimo Parade tied back up. All right, next vote wins. Whoever whoever votes next determines who's moving on to our next round. Junimo Parade, oh, Junimo Parade at the last second pulls ahead with that clutch, clutch victory. Wow, amazing. That one, uh, Crabbin was brought to us by Emmy M. Emmy, thank you for your submission. Here are our next two farms. On the left, we have what I have called Kingdom. I just got kingdom vibes from this. I don't know. I got a bunch of area right there in the middle. A lot of, you know, these animals are going to be able to survive for days on end. We've got a very nice Junimo hut area in the middle. A lot of different trees that are organized in a cool way. I think this looks really cool in the autumn. And on the right, like I said, Junimos are a very common theme. We've got Junimo army. The last one gave me more parade vibes. This one gave me more army vibes. Really cool. I mean, there's no real like actual farm aspect to this one, but I think the art is very, very cool. Let me know which one you think is better. Do you guys like kingdom? or Junimo Army. Pretty close, but never mind. It was a very close battle, but now, oh my goodness, everyone is loving Kingdom on the left here. But yeah, I think I think that's probably good enough to call it. You guys have chosen Kingdom. Hergo Sabo, thank you for your submission, man. Junimo Army, that was my favorite of the two, but I'm sorry. It is Kingdom that has won the hearts of the Twitch chat today. Last one of the round of 64, then we'll go directly into the bracket gameplay. Right now, we have on the left, what I have entitled, Junimo, my God. You can see a big Junimo design in the middle, but the rest of the farm is still there. You've got a nice little area for barn over here, some slime hutch, an area with some chests and some furnaces. Very nice design as well, centered around uh, an art piece, but still has a lot of functionality. And on the right, look, I'll be honest, I didn't know what to call this one. I called it Whirl. W-H-I-R-L, I called it Whirl. That's what I thought it looks like. That's what it reminded me of. Go ahead and vote right now. Which one do you like the best? 12 to 4, a lot of people leaning in favor of Juna Mo Magyad. And I think that's going to do it. Moving on to the next round will be uh, Juna Mo Magyad. So ironically, uh, the person who made Whirl is named Juna Mo from our Twitch chat. So Juna Mo, I'm sorry that you didn't get to move on, but thank you for submitting. All right, we are down to 32 contestants. We'll keep the pace moving right here. You already saw this one on the left. We have Hilltop Haven. We've already explored that one versus the map that I've called Home. Home features a very nice Z shape on the very left, a little tribute to myself. Nice little greenery area in the middle and some area for some crops over here on the right. Boats coming in now, it's still pretty close at this point. Oh, is that a Junimo in the middle? I didn't even see. This is a Junimo, wow, how about that? I'm sorry, I feel like I didn't do that justice, but if you look, this middle greenery area is a Junimo. But unfortunately, maybe because I didn't see it, we still have a the continuance of the reign of Hilltop Haven. So thank you to Victoria for submitting home. Over here is going to be this farm on the left entitled Fish versus this farm on the right. Another familiar one, uh, True Perfection. Maybe wondering why I called this farm Fish. All these farms were made on the Stardew Valley Planner website and I realized that it actually had some rendering issues. So this person had fish ponds down here, but then realized when it wasn't rendering right, they just spelled out the word fish in paths, and I thought that was really funny, and I actually preferred that over having fish ponds here. I called it fish. Votes flying in now. Some familiar people, some people that are familiar with the True Perfection farm. Really like that one. 12 votes to six right now. It's uh, not looking too, too good for our friend on the left for fish, but this battle is not as close as I thought it might be. And unfortunately, fish does fall as True Perfection moves on to the next round. Our next competitors on the left, we have the farm Silence Night. Uh, one of the only people to ever send me a screenshot of their farm rendered at night. I thought it gave it a really nice ambiance. So you can see the lighting system that they have. I think this is a farm from their actual game too that they screenshotted. And on the right, we have the return of our round of 64 champion cornered and so go ahead and let Liquid me know asset. which one do you think is better go ahead oh my goodness wow Liquid this is close asset. to unanimous this is unanimous so far 
Can you believe it? Wow, 23 to nothing right now, cornered. Corner put up a really good fight in this first round, but oh my gosh, I think the people love Silent Night. Wow, and with an overwhelming majority, nay, it was unanimous. Silent Night is moving on to the next round. Wow, Silent Night's gonna be a hard one to beat. That is a very cool design, a very cool ambiance. So the other farm uh, came from our friend Crashing Raider. So next up, we have these two competitors. Oh, another absolute monster from the first round. We have on the left, what I've entitled River Run. I got a really cool vibe from this. The person who sent me this email said that they weren't trying to win. They're just trying to vibe and have a really cool farm, a nice relaxing one, a cool aesthetic. I think this one's nice. I think the one on the left reminds you of like a real farm that you'd have in the game. And on the left is of course, everyone's favorite from the first round of 64, Epicenter. Relatively close, it's 15 votes to nine, make it 16 votes to nine with Epicenter still in first place. But I think after 40 seconds, we will call it an Epicenter will be the one to move on. So thank you to Puff the Muffin for your submission. We have on the left, what of course you can imagine, I have decided to entitle Tree. What else can I say besides tree and ancient fruit? And they have a little heart as well, so. And it's up against Flamingo. We've got nine votes for Flamingo. Only four votes for tree right now. I thought tree out of all of the submissions was the most unique one. I, I don't think in a million years if I entered this competition, I would ever think to just spell the word tree out using trees and then put a little heart and call it a day. But after a couple of minutes here, it looks like Flamingo is our winner. Congratulations to Flamingo for moving on. So Tree brought to you by Icy, no longer in the competition. So you guys will remember this one on the left is, and of course goes by the title of Junimo Parade. And on the right, we have a new challenger. This new challenger goes by the title of Big Pumpkin because I thought that was the most unique characteristic about it. All the works, some fish ponds, a little shed action, a very nice, like, uh, like a cross sort of shape that helps give the farm some flow. Voting is live. Go ahead. 24 votes have been cast. It's 13 to 11. Who's going to come out on top? Tied up again, 30 seconds in. But now, all of a sudden, Junimo Parade pulls ahead. I'll let this one run a little longer just because it is as close as it is. I think at this point, I will call it a next vote wins situation. And at the last second, Junimo Parade falls. I did not see that coming, but... Emmy Yanchuk, thank you for the submission, but that one does go to Big Pumpkin. On the left, our next farm is called Joja Pride. What else do I need to say besides join us thrive? The Joja love is coming in absolutely very, very strong right here. <laughs> You'll love to see it. And on the right, we have Kingdom, which you guys saw from the first round. You know, if it was just about the message, Joja Mart all day. Votes are coming in now. There is no love for Joja Mart. One of these days, I will teach you guys the proper way to play Stardew Valley. But I guess today is not that day. Sorry, I really, I really appreciated the effort, Skilo. Join us thrive. Joja Pride does not win. On the left, we have a new farm that I call Frog. I couldn't think of a title for this one, but this spot right here, this this looks like a face of a frog. Am I tripping or does that look like a frog face? And on the right, we have Juna Mo, oh my God. It's currently nine to four people falling in favor of frog, actually. You guys had a tendency to like want to vote for the ones that you were familiar with, but that tendency is starting to fall apart. 14 to 13 now with not too much time remaining. 30 seconds have gone by. It's 16 to 13, frog is in the lead. Is it gonna come out on top? It's not happening. Frog takes home the victory this round. Frog defeats Junimo, my God. Junimo, my God, brought to you by Holden Stallsmith. Thank you, Holden. Now these are two new farms that you haven't seen. On the left is the farm by the title Pog. I have called it Pog because this one has a little bit of a message. I don't think I need to explain this one. And on the right, I have called this one Artist. And it was for the simple reason that an artist always signs their work. And although I did my best to keep this as anonymous as I could, I did not count on people like Samia who would spell their name out in the crops. So this is a close one. Pog actually in the lead with 14 votes. An artist only has 13. Every other farm that has had my name in it or any reference to me has not done well. Oh yeah, Pog takes home the champion, baby. Look at that, Pog takes home the win. I'm proud to have at least one you know, thing that is in honor of me moving on to the second round. On the left, another, a very cool forest farm now. We have Enchanted. This one reminds me of a little like fairy forest kind of deal. Enchanted with a nice little well in the middle. I like that. And sort of uh, some barns and some coops tucked away in the trees. And on the right, 
we have what I've called Avenue because of the main avenue that runs right down the middle of the farm. I think this is a real farm. I think the person who sent this one in, this is the actual farm that they play on. Oh my goodness, it is like not even close right now. I'm ending this, I'm ending this manslaughter. Uh, the second unanimous decision that we have, Enchanted, I mean, that one's gonna be hard to beat. Avenue Falls, that was from Rebuild Eno of the Twitch chat. Rebuild, I'm sorry that you had to go against such stiff competition, my guy. Our farm on the right is titled Rick. You can imagine why. And our farm on the left is entitled Meteor because of this little meteor over here. This is an actual farm someone plays on. They've got this cool little meteor in front of their sheds. I don't think that this one is going to come down to, you know, which one, which design do you like better? I think this is going to be, do you appreciate the Rick roll or not? This was the second submission that I got, by the way. The one that says never gonna give you up. The second one that I got and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to host like a real competition and never gonna give you up is probably gonna win. Someone's gonna spend like three hours making a farm and this guy spent 10 minutes, if that and he's gonna win. It's still very close though. The question is, do you believe in the meme or do you wanna see a real farm take this one home? 18 to 15 and I will say as much as you like it, the Rick roll is unsuccessful. Thank you to Much Crayfish for that one. On the left is the farm Division, another four corners farm that features a barn and a coop down here in the bottom left. In the top left, it's got a cool tree area. You know, some crops right outside and in the bottom right, it's got a whole variety of other machines and useful things. And I really like how they kind of just covered the whole thing with cobblestone. It kind of feels like a little industrial. The one on the right is called Sus. Uh, I had to email the person who sent me this because I was like 99% sure that this right here was the character from Among Us. And it was. Let me read this email because I know, I remember wanting to read this. It says in all capital letters, Hello, Unsurpassable Z. I hope you are having a great day slash evening slash morning slash night. Here is my farm plan. Less than three, 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 three. And then he gives me the URL and the screenshot. And then he says in all lowercase letters, I also attached some screenies and then sincerely and signs it. And then I said, thanks for the submission. Can I ask the design under the slime hutch is anything in particular? And he says, yup, haha, it is the imposter from among us with greater than symbol and a colon and a right parenthesis to make an evil face. So do you guys believe in the uh, the sussy? Get a little sussy, you know, a little sus in the chat. <laughs> Votes coming in now and it looks like, <laughs> cue the Among Us music, sus wins out. Sus is moving on to the next round. Thank you to Milhan Hankov for the submission of Division. And our final round of 32 contestants. We have on the right, Duck World. This is an anonymous competition, may I remind you, but if you watch my PowerPoint night, you may be able to figure out who submitted this one. Uh, all I'm gonna say is that there's 16 coops right here and they are all filled to the brim with ducks. On the right, I have titled The Great Plains. They made space for all the crops, didn't actually plant any crops there, which is fine, it's like the farm designer tool. Uh, in the middle, they have this huge area for their animals to go out and vibe. This is one of the only ones that probably isn't going to be anonymous. All right, we'll call it right there. Duck World moves on. Thank you to uh, Mickey for submitting the Great Plains. Our final contestants of the round of 32. On the left, we have, woo, is what I call it because it has a little Junimo who's raising his hands and he looks like he's going woo. And on the right, we have what I've entitled Maze Runner. Now here's a side little bet that you guys didn't know existed. First person that, that solves it, I'll gift you a sub. In the meantime, you guys can vote for which farm is better if you don't feel like solving the maze. Woo! Is currently winning. Maze only has nine votes on the right. The biggest setback to Maze is that all of the people that really liked it are currently solving the maze and not voting for it. What an oversight. It's 15 to 12 right now. It is still pretty close. It's, oh, it's coming back. Maze is coming back. After I said that, all of the people took a break from doing the maze to vote for it. Is it going to be enough? It's now a one vote difference. May's trying to stage the comeback. Is it gonna be enough? Oh, and it's not enough, unfortunately for Maze. As much as I do like that, uh, woo, is moving on to the next round. I got 14 remaining. Uh, if you guys tell me two that you think should have moved on that did not, I'll put them back in right now. Let's see, is there anyone that deserved more credit do you guys think? All right, Maze and Junimo, my God, are getting put back into the competition. They were the very first two that were said. So let me throw those both back up in here. We're moving on to our next round. I have lost all sense of what the bracket is and so we're just gonna be pinning random people up against each other. First up, we have Silent Night, an absolute banger of a farm on the left versus oh, everyone's OG favorite, Hilltop Haven. Dude, Silent Night is like, ah, oh, you can't beat that ambiance of the nighttime screenshot with all those lanterns. But Hilltop Haven, you guys really like. 
So go ahead and vote right now. Dude, Silent Night is going to be a hard one to beat. I'll tell you that much. We're calling it right there. 18 votes to four. Silent Night is walking away with the W. Alchemy was the one who made Hilltop Haven. Alchemy, thank you for submitting. We've got Junimo, my God, on the right and on the left. We've got, whoa, our first Junimo versus Junimo competition. It looks like Junimo, my God, is starting to pull ahead a little bit. 13 to four now, potentially the superior Junimo. Certainly the bigger Junimo. After about 40 seconds, Junimo, Junimo, my God after being reintroduced into the competition, gets to survive another round. Next up, we've got Big Pumpkin versus True Perfection. Go ahead and vote right now. Which one do you think is better? Wow, and in a 16, 17 to three victory, wow, 85% of people choosing True Perfection over Big Pumpkin. True Perfection's got that, that good color scheme to it too. I can see why you guys did that. Big Pumpkin was brought to us by Wiser Oracle. Thank you, Wiser. Next up, we have Frog on the left. The face of the frog down here in the pond. Dude, the more I look at it, the more it looks like a frog. And on the right is Epicenter, who is in the lead. It is seven to five. Seven, oh, eight to six now. Pretty close. Pretty close competition, dude. Epicenter, you guys were really loving that earlier. Epicenter is moving on. Frog, thank you. That one was from Dayove, uh, who's in the chat with us. Dayove, thank you, man, for uh, for submitting and joining us here tonight. Duck World versus Flamingo right now. One of the only remaining competitors that still supports Unsurpassable Z. So go ahead and press one if you want to vote for the girl with 197 ducks, or press two if you want to vote for my favorite animal. Eight to eight, make it 10 to eight now. And it looks like Flamingo's starting to pull ahead after about 40 seconds, and with that, Flamingo takes home the W. Riv's Duck World falls. Riv, I'm sorry. A lot of people uh, liked your farm, but apparently not enough people watched your PowerPoint because Duck Farm is no more. On the left, we have... <laughs> Sus. On the right, we have Kingdom. The votes are flying in right now, and as much as I like the Sus Among Us character, it looks like the people of the Twitch chat like Kingdom even more. So congratulations to Kingdom for moving on. That was from Max. Max, thank you for submitting sus, my friend. Pog on the right, do you guys support me or do you support the meteor? What do you think? The Zia's Pog was able to skirt by last round. It looks like this one is a little bit different. Uh, Kiki the Gamer Cat was the one who made Pog. Thank you, Kiki. This one, Enchanted. I, I don't know, I messed up the bracket again. Look, I'm doing this all in Photoshop. Have some patience with me. Enchanted gets a buy, and let's be honest, Enchanted deserves a buy anyway. It's insane. And with that, we are moving on to our round of eight. There are only eight competitors left, and it is gonna be some cutthroat competition from here on out. On the left is Silent Night, and on the right is Junimo My God. Can Junimo My God continue their streak of success after coming back into the competition? Or is Silent Night going to continue its streak of being cool because the lights are off? Let's see as the votes come in now, though it is 19 to five, and that is Junimo My God's second time getting eliminated from the competition, once again brought to you by Holden Stallsmith. Uh, we've got Meteor on the left versus True Perfection now. Currently, I think that's safe to call it. True Perfection is the winner of this round. Thank you to Matthias uh, for his submission of Meteor. Oh my gosh, this is a, a this is our, oh my gosh, hold on. Let me collect myself. This is the most intense round that we have had so far. On the left is Enchanted and on the right is Epicenter. These are two of the nicest farms that we've had so far. This is this is a tough matchup right now. This is gonna be hard to say goodbye to either one of these contestants. It is six to six right now. Oh, this could be the thing that takes out Enchanted. It, this is amazing, dude. Epicenter with the golden clock versus the, you know, forest theme of Enchanted. Who's gonna come out on top? I'll let this poll run for a while. I want this one to be a good, clean vote. 10 to 10 now, oh my gosh, it could go either way. This is so, so wild. 11 to 10, I'll let it run for like 10 more seconds and we'll see. 12 to 10 now, Enchanted pulls ahead. Is it gonna be able to maintain that lead? 11 and 12 now as, as uh, Epicenter gets another vote. Is anyone else gonna come in for Epicenter? And one does, it's 12 to 12. The next vote wins. The next vote wins any second now. And just like that, at the last second, Coffee Bean comes through with the two and Epicenter defeats Enchanted in the quarterfinals. Wow. Kylie Reed was the one that posted Enchanted. And that was a great farm. I'm so sorry to see you go in the quarterfinals. Our last round of the quarterfinals. On the left, you will see Kingdom. On the right is Flamingo. The last 
remaining evidence that this is a competition hosted by me on the right with the Flamingo. It's 11 to two, make it 12 to two. It's not looking good for Flamingo right now as much as I love it. The deed is done. 16 to four, Flamingo Falls. That one came from Emmy. Emmy, thank you for Flamingo. Guys, we have four competitors left now. Wow, what a roller coaster. If your farm wins this round, then you will get a prize walking out of here. In our first round of the semifinals, on the left, true perfection. On the right, epicenter. Truly a battle of the titans. This is where the competition is getting insane. Oh my gosh, these are two fire farms, man. I can't believe we're about to say goodbye to one. It's still anyone's game. Anyone could walk away with this. It's a 50-50 split. It is so close and I don't blame you guys. Oh my gosh, 11 to 10. Make it 12 to 10 as True Perfection pulls slightly ahead, but Epicenter answers and it is 50-50 once again. This is so intense. I'll leave it go for another 10 seconds. 14 to 13. True Perfection pulls slightly ahead. Epicenter ties. Next vote wins. Who's it going to be? And just like that, with 15 votes, Epicenter barely squeaks out over the over True Perfection. Oh my goodness. Hey, that one came from Ben German. Ben, dude, what a run you had. That True Perfection farm, they loved it. But unfortunately, Epicenter, just such a nice farm. Epicenter now guaranteed at least second place. And we go into the other half of the bracket, Silent Knight on the right and Kingdom on the left. Kingdom has seen such a long road. You guys have stuck with it through thick and thin. It has won more rounds than any of our other competitors, but Silent Knight has that really cool knight aesthetic. But is it going to be enough to carry it to victory? Oh my God, I just checked the poll for the first time. It is enough to carry it to victory. Silent Knight wins 22 to three. Make it 23 to three, why don't you? Oh my gosh. Dude, Silent Knight was insane. What a, what a run. And uh, Kingdom is eliminated. That one was from Felicity, but Felicity, thank you for your submission. It has all come down to this. I asked 10,000 people to design their farm. And these are the two best that remain. On the left is Epicenter. And on the right is Silent Knight. Which one is going to come out on top right now? First place gets a set of four Junimo plushes and second place walks away with a $10 Steam gift card. And Silent Knight takes an early lead as it is 18 to six now. Things not looking as good for Epicenter. 19 to six now, I'll leave it go just for a little bit longer just so that everyone can get their votes in. But it is going to be a tough comeback for Epicenter. 21 to seven now. And I think that'll do it. With 21 votes, 75% of the final round, Silent Knight is your winner. Congratulations. Hey, Epicenter came from Dippy Wallop of our own Twitch chat. Dippy Wallop, you had a great run. That is Dippy's actual farm. But first place is uh, Silent Knight, and that is by Rembo, one of our friends from YouTube. Oh, he's in this chat. He's in the chat right now. Rembo, congrats, man. Guys, thank you to everyone that participated in this. That was a ton of fun. I know a bunch of new friends are hanging out here with us as well, and I really appreciate you guys. Rembo, congratulations, man.